Pleasant good morning to everyone. Welcome one more time to World Channel 345. We are here another day, another time with you to give God thanks, especially for the fact that we're in the season, this holiday season, this season of cheer and joy. We want to say God bless you and thank you so much for all your support, all your viewings. We want to thank God for our Facebook family. We want to thank God for our YouTube family. We want to thank God for our Instagram family. What a blessing you have been to this channel and we also recognize that the channel has been a blessing to you what we wanted to do to remember to like share and subscribe let me say that again like share and subscribe and especially give your comments in the comment section each time we are on we want to say blessed uh blessed holiday seasons to you all and may god bless we're going to go right into the word and if today we're going to give the word a topic it is take no offense let me say that again take no offense and our scripture reading will be taken from matthew chapter 11 and i'll read until i stop i said then it came to pass that when jesus had made an end to of commanding his 12 disciples he departed thence to teach and preach in their class in their cities now when john had heard in prison of the work of christ he spent he sent two disciples and said unto him art thou he that should come or do what we look for or should we look for another let me read it for you again and he said unto him art thou he that should come or do we look for another jesus answered and said unto them go show john again those things which you have heard and seen the blind receive sight the lame walk the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear and the dead and the poor have the gospel preached to them and blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me let us pray mighty god and everlasting father we acknowledge your presence with us we thank you for the fact that this is the season in which god you were given to us as a baby boy you came to earth the bible says the word became flesh and dwell among men and we thank you for this this is the reason for our season this is the reason for our celebration this is the reason why we can say truly lord we thank god for christmas and so god we acknowledge everything within our oh, god the perimeters of belief whereby lord we have come 
this far by faith, leaning on you, trusting your whole word, you'll never fail us. Bless us now, we pray thee, with your choice blessings as we go into the word in Jesus' name. My brothers and sisters, those of you listening to me in the world, I am excited. I am ecstatic about this man, Christ Jesus, who was born, hallelujah, as flesh. Let me say that, the incarnate one, Emmanuel, God with us. I just thank God for the time that, hallelujah, we have gotten, hallelujah, to recognize that Jesus Christ was born and he, hallelujah, walked this earth. He, he bore everything that men have born. And so we are confident that he was born, hallelujah. And so we take no offense to the fact that Jesus Christ is our Lord and personal Savior. I want to tell you that every time that we have a conversation with someone, it is the best conversation that you can have. Whether or not it's about money, it's about girls, it's about life, it's about anything. Travel, it's about what you like and what you do not like. But when it comes to when we talk about Jesus, Jesus calls it an offense. Let me say that again. When you talk about Jesus, it causes an offense. Even sometime you talk about God and there is no offense. But when you talk about Jesus, there is an offense. So today we want to hit this word today. Do not take offense. And again, do not take offense. I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, that as we look into our Bibles, we see we're in the very time when Jesus Christ was born. The Bible says that when Jesus came up into a place, they would always ask, who is this man? Isn't he the carpenter's son? Isn't he Mary's son? Isn't he the, the, the little shepherd boy, the little boy from, the little boy from, um, from Nazareth? And even one time we find in the Bible, it says, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Who is this Jesus? Well, I want to tell you, as believers, we should not take offense to the name of Jesus because the Bible says that the name of Jesus is given above all names, that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. I want to tell you, oh, glory to God, that even Joseph, his father, in the beginning, the Bible says that Joseph, hallelujah, was espoused to Mary. And so when Joseph found out, Mary was found with child. But my God Almighty, in those days, the law stayed that if a woman was found that she was pregnant and she did not she was not married the law requires that she be taken to the center of the city and she be made a public example possibly stoned or embarrassed so my brothers and sisters as joseph hallelujah this wonderful man this righteous man of god came down to the point where he found out that mary his spouse to be was impregnated oh hallelujah the bible says that he considered hallelujah to put out a public shame i don't know about you today who i'm talking to but do not take offense to the fact that even because you know jesus because you know jesus guys because you're all a christian because hallelujah you celebrate this season you people will take offense do not be offended as we go along you'll hear more and so my brothers and sisters those of you listening to me on the world wide web joseph hallelujah found himself in a position where he had to consider whether or not to put mary to public shame or hallelujah become the boy's father oh glory to god the bible tells me that as joseph went to his bed hallelujah he had a visit from an angel i think it was the angel gabriel the bible says that the, angel of the lord came to joseph and said joseph fear not for your wife has been impregnated by hallelujah the holy ghost this is called an immaculate conception once again our message today to you is do not be offended because my brothers and sisters you see anything that is about jesus it will cause offense can you imagine there are individuals who would want to prove that there's nothing called immaculate conception as a matter of fact they would want to say how is it possible for a spirit to come hallelujah and impregnate flesh well i can tell you my brothers and sisters that whether or not they want to believe it the bible says that the spirit of god yes holy spirit in the beginning when god created man the bible says he took man from the dust he formed man from the dust and blew into his nostrils and formed a living soul. That 
is spirit touching flesh. Can I talk to you again about spirit touching flesh? When Samson, oh glory to God, when he lost, hallelujah, his strength, when he lost his relationship with God, the Bible says Samson asked God one more time to give him, hallelujah, one more touch that he may have in his eyes. That was spirit touching flesh. Oh, somebody needs to understand, don't take offense when, hallelujah, others or the world might try to convince you or they might try to put down the fact that Jesus Christ was born in the flesh. Oh, hallelujah, because, oh, hallelujah, we should not take offense because this is how we were. Oh, hallelujah. This is what we are all about. Believers, the Bible says that he that believe, oh hallelujah, in the Lord Jesus Christ who has been sent by God the Father is blessed and highly favored. Do not take offense. As I come down, the Bible says that it came to pass that when Jesus had made an end to command his twelve disciples, he departed thence to teach and preach in their cities. And now John had heard in prison. So we want to talk about John. Who is John the Baptist? Who is the forerunner of Jesus Christ, who is his cousin, oh, hallelujah, who was the son of Elizabeth, who was the nephew, hallelujah, of Mary, hallelujah, who was the mother of Jesus. Don't take offense. And so the Bible declares, hallelujah, that hallelujah, when, hallelujah, Mary was pregnant, the Bible says that as all of these things came to pass and Mary went, hallelujah, to go, hallelujah, to look for Elizabeth, I believe that Mary was under so much pressure that she left, hallelujah, the place where she would have stayed with her husband just to take a break from all of the isms and the schism which were being talked about or anything about Jesus will cause offense. Oh, glory to God. Anything that has to do with Jesus will cause an offense. The Bible says that when Mary, hallelujah, went to Elizabeth, the Bible says that immediately, oh, hallelujah, the baby who was John the Baptist leapt in, hallelujah, his mother's womb. Let me tell you something. Oh, glory to God. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Even in the womb, he will shake every foundation. He did not cause an offense to his, nev his, his cousin John the Baptist. But what I am saying is anything about Jesus will cause an offense. Oh, glory to God. You see, my brothers and sisters, as oh, we look at the scripture, it says, and they said unto him, art thou Though he who should come, or do we look for another? What happened was, oh, hallelujah, somebody said, do not take offense. Hallelujah. It's, it was said that, oh, glory to God, that they were looking for a deliverer. Oh, they were looking for a salvator. They were looking for somebody who would come and redeem man. They were, were looking for someone who would come, oh, yes, and deliver them from the hands, hallelujah, of the pharaohs, from the hands of the Romans, from the hands of the Philippians, from the hands, O oh God Almighty, of the lawgivers. But Jesus Christ came and he was born in a lowly manger. That would cause offense because can you imagine when they said that there was coming a king, oh hallelujah, who the government, hallelujah, would be upon his shoulder. Oh hallelujah, he would be called Emmanuel, Prince of Peace, the mighty God, the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, the Alpha and the Omega. He was born in a manger. I believe that would cause offense to some king and some queens to know that the person who would be the kings of kings and the lords of lords would be born in a manger. That would cause offense to the rich man who would say, can you ask me, a rich man, to bow down to someone who was born in a lowly manger? Oh, hallelujah. But it was prophesied, my brothers and sisters, that there would be no place for the Savior to lay his head. Hallelujah. What a word today. And the word 3, 4, 5, channel, if you're just coming on, we're talking about the fact that do not let, hallelujah, any offense come to you because of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. No offense because of the name of Jesus. No offense because you're called a Christian. No offense because you're called a believer. No offense because they know that you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. I want to talk to you about something else that might have caused offense to so many individuals. You see, as I grew up, my brothers and sisters, I had neighbors who said that they don't believe in a Christmas tree and they don't believe in giving presents and they don't believe in the 25th of December. But I want to talk to somebody today 
way. Do not let it cause you any offense because Jesus Christ was born. Oh, I don't care whether he was born, hallelujah, on the 25th of December. I don't care if he was born in the month of Nisan. I don't care if he was born when snow was falling. I don't care whether there were three wise men or there were three shepherds. All I want to know is that Jesus Christ was born because, my brothers and sisters, the Bible tells me that the first Adam would have brought sin unto us and there was hallelujah no remedy for sin but thanks be to God the Bible says that out of love there was a shout from heaven hallelujah when God said who will redeem mankind to me do not let Jesus cause an offense do not let anybody let Jesus' name cause an offense to you because Jesus Christ became our Lord and Savior the Bible tells me that in heaven God looked down on mankind and saw that mankind should be saved, should, hallelujah, be released from their sin. Oh, he searched through all of heaven. The angels could not do it. My God Almighty, no being in heaven could do it. But my brothers and sisters, I was told that there was a shout, hallelujah, that came from heaven and said, I will go, here am I, send me. Jesus Christ himself left the splendor of heaven. Oh, hallelujah, became a man. As a matter of fact, he became a lowly baby in a lowly manger because my brothers and sisters he knew that there would be a lowly person like me who needed a king who was born in a stable can you imagine if he was born in a palace then maybe the individuals who were born in palaces and princes and queens would have said they are the only ones hallelujah who hallelujah deserve yes Holy Spirit who deserve to be hallelujah named by him the Bible also says that we were dogs and sorcerers no part of the commonwealth of god but because hallelujah jesus christ was born it caused an offense to some oh mighty god as a matter of fact they said can any good thing come out of nazareth but thanks be to god oh glory to god that there was a census to be held my god almighty and mary and joseph had to return to be counted among men oh hallelujah don't let the name of jesus cause an offense to you because he is your savior. The Bible says, oh glory to God, that Mary and Joseph had to go back to be named in the census. It was at that time, oh hallelujah, that Mary had to travel on the back of an ass. Oh glory to God for so many months to get back. But when she got back, it was prophesied already that there will be no place for the savior to lay his head therefore he was born in the trough hallelujah in a manger oh glory to god the bible says that the star from heaven shone a bright light whereby oh hallelujah the shepherds could have followed and my god almighty as the shepherds followed my brothers and sisters they found the baby and they worshiped him but not only that the wise men oh hallelujah saw the star from afar they recognized that the stars, hallelujah, had dictated that there would be a king born in a manger. Do not let it cause an offense to you when you are named by the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says that that name is the name above all names. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that Joseph, as he got his vision, the Bible says that the angel of the Lord said he shall not be called any other name but the name of Jesus. Jesus means the anointed one. Jesus means the deliverer. Jesus means, hallelujah, salvation has come. Oh, Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel, God with us. Mighty deliverer. Mighty to save. Therefore, he should not cause an offense. Listen to this man. Oh, hallelujah. It says that Jesus answered and said, go show John again those things, hallelujah, which you have seen and you have heard. Remember now that my brothers and sisters, that John was now in prison. He was there preaching, prepare ye the way of the Lord. He caused offense. Oh, hallelujah. You didn't know that I was going to go there. But John had caused an offense. Remember that only John had been locked up. Oh, hallelujah. John had been about many. Oh, hallelujah. Who followed John were persecuted because they were 
they were with John. They were disciples of John. But the Bible says, oh, hallelujah, that John was preaching to prepare ye the way of the Lord. And so John was locked up, oh, hallelujah, by Pharaoh. He was about to lose his life. But John recognized that in prison, he had to make a quick one. He had to shout out at the center Jesus and ask him, should I look out for another? I believe that there is some people right now in this condition and in this situation and what the world is going through and all of the, the things happening, hallelujah, and the pandemic, people are asking, should we look for another deliverer? Should we still depend on God to deliver us? Why did God allow this to happen? How is it that we are under the name of Jesus Christ and we are still, hallelujah, affect, affected by COVID and we are still affected by diseases and we are still affected by crime and we are still affected by having not, nothing, hallelujah, to eat. But I can tell you one more time, do not be offended because you are called by the name of Jesus. The Bible said, blessed shall you be, hallelujah, those who believe in the fact that Jesus Christ is God, those who accept him as personal Lord and Savior. Listen to me, man, the disciples. Oh, hallelujah. I want, to, I want to put it really nice and neat for you. The Bible says that even when he was crucified on the cross, oh my God, and the disciples went and they were up in the upper room. They were afraid. They thought that they were about to lose their life. But the Bible says that on the third day, my God, on the third day, he arose. It says up from the grave, he arose with a mighty shout. It was prophesied that he would have come from the grave. So do not be offended. So we are just going, going to go back now. Oh, hallelujah to the point where John the Baptist recognized that he was about to lose his life. Oh, glory to God. But but Jesus sent back a message to John in prison about to lose his life. Jesus said to them, go and tell John what you have seen. Oh, hallelujah. I wonder why Jesus tell him. To go, to go and tell him what you have seen and not only that, just tell him exactly what he said. Jesus said, tell him that the blind receive their sight and the lame walk and the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear and the dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel that I have preached to them. Oh, glory to God. He said one more time and blessed is he oh, hallelujah, whosoever shall not be offended in me. Oh, hallelujah. This word is very short today. This word is a word that will grip you. And this word is a word that should let you look into yourself. Many of us, my brothers and sisters, possibly we were looking for a Christmas message. We were looking, hallelujah, for a birth of Jesus Christ. But what I wanted to say is that in Christ, we should not be offended. You see what happened, my brothers and sisters, is that many will tell you, why are you celebrating Christmas? That Christmas is a pagan, hallelujah, holiday, and that they worship a tree. But I want to tell somebody, hallelujah that i do not worship a tree and i do not hallelujah want to give gifts only because it has been hallelujah sent to me by the world to give gifts which is a commercial thing what i'm doing here is celebrating the fact that jesus christ was born as a man he was born as a baby he was born as a human being that's why the bible tells me and i have proven it for myself oh hallelujah that he was born by immaculate conception whereby mary was found as hallelujah impregnated by the holy ghost oh hallelujah all prophecies were fulfilled that hallelujah that there will be a king born in a manger and hallelujah that he will be called emmanuel he will be called god with us he will walk on this earth he would show us the way as a matter of fact he would prove to us that god had sent his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life so do not be of Offended, hallelujah in Christ Jesus do not take offense when people will say that you are worshiping idols you're not worshiping idols you're celebrating the fact that Jesus Christ was born the Bible says that the, in the beginning the word was with God and the word hallelujah was God but then hallelujah later down in the book of Genesis it says the word became flesh and dwell among men so don't be offended by the fact that some people are 
tell you that you should not celebrate Christmas. As a matter of fact, now they have commercialized it and they call it Xmas. They cross out the Christ and put more X. So they say X out the mass. My God Almighty, but I want to tell somebody oh, that we do not celebrate the season. We do not hallelujah celebrate hallelujah gifts. What we celebrate is to the fact that we are in uh, keeping a commemoration of the fact that Jesus Christ was born. I do not know whether he was born really in December. I do not know whether he was born in June. I don't know whether he was born, hallelujah, hallelujah, in another place. All I want to know is that he was born. Look at it, my brother and sister. No one has taken offense to the fact that the queen was not born, hallelujah, in June. Or maybe, yes, she was born in June, but they celebrate her birthday at a part, on a particular day. Nobody has taken offense that possibly, hallelujah, that there were some things that we are celebrating. Days that we have taken out and we have called them holidays. No one has taken offense to that. But once we talk about Jesus, then offense is taken. But I want to tell somebody, I want to tell a believer, I want to tell someone who wants to believe. Do not take offense to the fact that you identify with this man, Christ Jesus who was born, hallelujah, from the spirit into the flesh to walk on this earth and to show us, hallelujah, oh, glory to God, to show the way, hallelujah, to salvation. The Bible says, as I come down to a close, it says, and they went and they told John, just like Jesus said, verse 5, one more time says, the blind received their sight. It is because of the name of Jesus and the lame walk. It is because of the name of Jesus and the lepers cleansed. It is because of this same Jesus which so many take offense to and the deaf ear. It is Jesus who, hallelujah, has unstopped deaf ears. The dead raised, hallelujah, the Bible says he was the first resurrected and therefore because he is resurrected, we are resurrected with him. That's why I can say do not take offense, hallelujah, to those who are talking about whether Jesus was born in December or the 25th should not be celebrated. What we want to know as believers is that he was born hallelujah for this word today and the poor have the gospel preached to him hallelujah so listen to me man when people are taking offense at the fact that you are preaching the gospel oh glory to god whether it is december or january or february what i wanted to know is that do not take offense as a believer do not take offense as a christian because one day the bible says that every knee must bow and every tongue shall confess. Here is what it said, each day shall confess. Because what happened is no one is going to, hallelujah, going to force them. But because of the evidence given, you see, Jesus said to them, tell John these things. These are evidence to prove that I am, hallelujah, the one that was sent, born, hallelujah, of a virgin Mary. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Look at this. The king, hallelujah, who sent the men to go find Jesus. Here is what he did. He wanted, he took offense to the fact that there was a king born and he knew that when a king is born, a king would have destroyed his entire family. Therefore, he tried to trick the men. He said to them, go and find him and worship him and come back and tell me where he is. Oh, hallelujah. But thanks be to God. God sent his angels to these men and he said to them, take the other way and go home. So the hallelujah, the king declared and made a decree that every baby boy that was born in this time and this season must be killed, must be wiped out must be annihilated. Oh, glory to God. So you see, my brothers and sisters, even the king took offense because he recognized that a king was born. The Pharisees and the Sadducees, they took offense because guess what? Jesus, hallelujah, he caused them to understand that the law, hallelujah, was for one at that point in time. But now he says that grace and mercy has come. That's why so many take offense. They have taken offense to the name of Jesus because the Bible says that he is the deliverer and there is no other one. They take offense because they say that he was born on the 25th and that it's a pagan worship. But I can tell you, I do not have to worship any tree. I don't have to worship any gift. All I want to worship is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus. So I do not take offense to it. All I do is glory. Hallelujah. In his birth. Oh, somebody bless the Lord. I want somebody to shout. I thank God for Christmas. My God Almighty. As they departed, Jesus began 
began to say unto the multitude concerning John, what went out, he out into the wilderness and see a reed shaken in the wind, but what went he out of sea, a man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are the king's house, but but what he went he out to see, a prophet, ye say unto him, unto you, may more more prophet, for this is he in whom it is it is written. Listen to this, Jesus said, Behold, I send a messenger before thy face, and he shall prepare the way for thee. Verily I say unto you, among thee is born of a woman, hallelujah, woman, they there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he is the least in the kingdom of the heaven, in the greater than he. So what Jesus was saying, my brothers and sisters, what John was also prophesied about, but he, Jesus, has come now, the greatest one who John has spoken about. So don't take offense to him. Do not take offense when they say that you're a Christian. Do not take offense when they talk about Christmas. Do not take offense, hallelujah, when they say that there is no Jesus and there is no birth but let me tell you something the bible says my brothers and sisters that we hallelujah who are believers should not be offended so one more time do not take offense hallelujah because of the name of jesus take joy take pride take pleasure in knowing that he was born oh hallelujah take pride and joy to know that you have a savior take pride in the fact that jesus christ is lord take pride in the fact to know that his name is above all names finally take pride to know hallelujah that jesus christ is lord the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end the word became flesh and dwell among men whether or not it was december or march or april all we want to know hallelujah is that he was born because as he was born my brothers and sisters there came salvation unto man whereby sin hallelujah has no more hold on us because he died on the cross for us hallelujah he was risen from the from the from the dead and he reigns in in heaven on, on our behalf as a matter of fact he has gone to prepare a place for us whereby my brothers and sisters because of christmas oh glory to god because of his name hallelujah because he is the mighty deliverer he's mighty to deliver and mighty to save and nothing can stop him no devil from hell can stop him no no government can stop him no powers hallelujah no principles no powers can stop him because my brothers and sisters there's gonna come a day oh hallelujah that as we have been offended hallelujah by others who say that there is no god they're gonna see him and hallelujah the bible says the eastern sky will split oh my god and all eyes shall behold him so hallelujah my brothers and sisters i say to you today i encourage you do not be offended by the name hallelujah or what people are going to say what the world has dictated my god because brothers and sisters one day hallelujah he will be exalted one day he will be glorified the bible says every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that jesus christ he is lord do not take offense hallelujah in his name hallelujah one more time hallelujah hallelujah matthew 11 and verse 6 and blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me and that is jesus christ hallelujah what a word today my god almighty i thank god for this word today and i pray my brothers and sisters that as you go through this season as you go through this time do not be offended by the things that the world will try to put on you and try to take off of jesus they want to take away his divinity they want to take away his deity but none hallelujah can do no harm because the bible says my brother and sister that one day every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that he jesus christ is lord today is a very good day for you to confess hallelujah that he's that he's lord in your life today is a very good day in this season as a matter of fact as i said before we celebrate this season because of his birth we don't celebrate the tree we don't celebrate the presents we don't celebrate the gifts hallelujah and all the food we celebrate because he was born we are commemorating his birth just like how you would celebrate your birthday every year we celebrate the fact that he was born the word became flesh dwell among men so that we might have life and not inherit eternal damnation hallelujah what a word on the word triple five channel as i'm about to pray i pray that you will just lay your hand upon yourselves 
and receive our, our prayer right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I, Lord, stretch my hand, O oh God. Lord, I pray that, Lord, that as those individuals have heard this word today, maybe, God, many people have offended them. Maybe at work they have been offended by individuals who have declared, what are you celebrating? What are you talking about? We do not celebrate this pagan this pagan uh, holiday. But, Lord, we want them to rest assured that, God, we are not celebrating a tree. We are not celebrating gifts. What we are celebrating is your birth. We are celebrating the fact that we can commemorate and remember the fact that you were born. Just like we can celebrate the resurrection. Just like we can celebrate your death on the cross. We can celebrate your birth. And so, God, we shout, we thank God for Christmas. Because without, oh God, this time, oh God Almighty, we would not have a savior. We would not have salvation. We would not have a way out, oh God Almighty, from our, our, our payment of death to sin and so we thank you that god almighty though the fact that the first adam brought sin the bible said the second adam will bring salvation you are the second adam and so hallelujah jesus we thank you that you were born we thank you that you were born in a manger whereby lord the lowly oh god can identify with you we thank you god almighty that even the very king in the king's house can identify with you because of your love and so god we give you praise and honor we thank god for this season we pray god that as Christians and other believers go through this season, God, they will remember why the reason for the season. The reason for the season is Jesus. It's not because of the presence that we're going to get. It's not that the gifts that we're going to get. It's because, God, we can say true level of fact, we have experienced your love and God Almighty because of this season. We can celebrate life. We can celebrate, oh God Almighty, the fact that God, eternal life belongs to us because you were born. Oh, hallelujah. And so, God, we just thank you right now oh god for giving us this time of commemoration this time oh god where we can remember this time god almighty where we can just say lord thank you for coming to this earth oh hallelujah even though you came to this earth as a lowly as a baby boy lord god almighty your ministry god almighty in that 33 years was magnificent it showed us god that we can live that god almighty that we can oh god almighty make it to the end because lord everything that you have gone through lord is a is a is it, it's got an example to us that we can do the same we can live for you we thank you god for the fact that you also god gave us the access to the throne of grace whereby lord you became the bridge hallelujah over the gulf of sin and death so we thank you right now for your birth we thank you for the time and the season whereby we can celebrate and lord we pray that god that even now someone will come in contact with you and lord god almighty they will receive you as personal lord and savior in Jesus' name amen and amen my brothers and sisters of the very world wide web I want to say to you one more time thank you for choosing the word 345 channel this day remember do not take offense hallelujah in the name of jesus or because of jesus because guess what he is hallelujah our savior and lord emmanuel god with us he came in the flesh and we can prove it over and over again hallelujah let's thank you right now for being here with us we pray that next week same time same place you'll be here with us on the word 345 channel god bless you and remember to like share and subscribe comment in the comment section share this message with someone and remember take no offense because of the name of jesus god bless you richly have a wonderful day